All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. Today, I'm not in Reno. We are in Sacramento with my family. It's Labor Day weekend, so we are here. I have a couple cool things I have here that I am bringing some back. Some are staying here. But I wanted to show you guys what's going on. So I have a couple bike check videos coming up, a couple bikes I have here. I think are really cool. I think you guys will enjoy. Eventually, we'll be on the channel more often. But I think you guys will enjoy those for right now. There are a couple of cool things I am picking up while I am here. One of those things is right over here. This here, that's my park tool bike stand. That's, I made that, oh man, 10 years ago. And it is sat here. That is just a base for the park tool um, stand. And then I actually made the crossbar with the clamp on it. So that is coming with me. Got a couple tubes down there as well as an extra pole for the the bike stand uh, but that's coming with me so we can do some bigger stuff on the channel versus having the bikes on the ground you know or flipped upside down or hanging on everything also got the truing stand built into here too so i got the the wheel you know, singer wheel and true your wheel right there it's definitely something cool but that is not the main point of this video the main point of this video is to do a bike check on one of my bikes and i'm going to show you guys that bike So what we got here this is my trek 3700 this is a 2009 model this is actually my first bike shop style bike that i have ever owned obviously it's gone through quite a few different changes since those first bike shop days but this is it right here this is your best example of buying a bike at a bike shop for a low price and then upgrading it as you go and as you gain experience riding this bike started off as a bare frame the basic SR Sun Tour fork, basic Bontrager wheels. This is essentially their base model aluminum style mountain bike. There's nothing fancy about it when it came originally. This is your basic no name brand brakes. It came with the basic Shimano 3x7 drivetrain, and that's about it. Obviously, like I said, you I've done quite a few upgrades to this. One thing is as simple as a new fork on here. I have a RockShox Dart 2. On this bike i love that here that made a huge difference it's now a I believe it's an 80 millimeter versus a 63 that it came with so that makes a huge difference other upgrades here i replaced the wheels that actually has a long story behind it i tacoed the original wheel when i was riding in hawaii i actually was riding lot yay falls trail and tacoed that rear wheel so i ordered these wheels here these are a welta zero light wheel I ordered them off of Nash Bar. I'll post a link in the description. They're actually really good wheels. I enjoy riding them. I've never had an issue with these wheels here. With the wheel replacement, I also had to upgrade the rear cassette. It came with the free wheel originally. Having to go to a cassette, I had to go to an eight speed. So obviously it's now a three by eight. So it's actually a great bike to ride both on the street and to on the trail. It's a great bike to ride to the trail from the street. It's great. So. Now the SRAM X4 for the rear derailleur as well as the rear gears and the shifters. That's all there. This is just your basic Shimano uh, front derailleur on here. I have the, the biggest upgrade to this one, getting rid of those no name brand brakes. These ones actually have, I actually found a set of Shimano XTR V brakes. Haven't heard that in a long time, have you? Shimano XTR V brakes and bolted them on here new pads on there i've never had a pair of e-brakes stop quite as good as this they have amazing stopping power and it is a huge upgrade so if you ever find a pair and you have v-brakes on your bike buy them they're great so as you can see this is really just your budget budget upgraded bike from just a simple get into riding bike to something that can have raced on done cross country races, play second in cross country races before. There's something very basic that can do very well, you know, as the upgrades come. Of course, just like any basic bike, it does reach a point where you upgrade to the point where it can't really be upgraded any farther than it is. That's kind of what came down to this. The frame geometry, obviously, while between this and my Superfly, the frame geometry is much different. 29er versus 26 makes a huge difference. The bars make a huge difference. Everything like that made a gigantic difference versus this. So that was kind of the point where I upgraded to my Superfly. 
was it came to the point where this didn't quite fit my needs anymore. I wanted to get more aggressive, better into mountain biking, and that's why I upgraded. But if you're looking for a basic bike, go to your bike shop, find a bike that's kind of on the lower end. Most of the intro bikes now don't come with V-brakes, they're gonna come with disc brakes. That's a great upgrade. You can get the mechanical disc brakes, upgrade them to the hydraulic as you get farther on. If mountain biking becomes a thing that you really want to do, you can upgrade them, get something better. All right, so that's gonna be it for today, guys. Just wanna do a basic bike check on my Trek 3700 aluminum bike here that I've had for a long time. I love to bring this bike back. I've always seen great builds. It's a few I used to see when I rode this bike all the time that transformed it into a single speed monster. And that's something I always thought would be cool. Having 26 inch wheels, it just gives you so much more option for you know cheap strong wheels and components i thought that would always be a fun thing to do to this bike to make it in that single speed monster that it could potentially be so like i said this bike sadly is not going to come with me today or this time it'll be staying here at my parents house because i don't have room for it right now but eventually this bike you will see again in the stable because it is a fun bike that i enjoy to ride and of course as always n plus one is the number of bikes you should own so always own more bikes but that's going to be it for today, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I have a lot of great content coming up for you soon. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below and comment below why you liked it or why you disliked it. Love to hear from you guys' input. Greatly appreciate it. Looking to get back into this all the time now that I have time to do this. So, appreciate it, you guys. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next video.